It's March 21st. I'm Mark Kelly with your news to go. You may notice it's getting a little busier out on Florida's waters, and here's why. More than a million recreational boaters have now registered in Florida. These are the top numbers by county. You see Miami-Dade at the very top of that list with more than 74,000 vessels registered with the state. Now, no counties in our area, believe it or not, cracked that top five list. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi making a stop in Delray Beach over the weekend. She announced a $19 billion investment to improve Florida infrastructure by way of the bipartisan infrastructure law. Now she joined several South Florida lawmakers at the George Bush Bridge this past weekend. Now this bridge closed earlier this month and it could stay like this for another six weeks. She says the money could help prevent inconveniences like this one in the future. And I want to give you a heads up tomorrow because Palm Beach County students are going to be coming back from spring break with fewer COVID protocols. Superintendent Mike Burke making this decision based on the transmission rate in Palm Beach County now staying below 5%. So the district says some changes starting tomorrow. There will be no more contact tracing. However, parents will still be notified when someone in the child's class tests positive. Students and staff who want to get tested in case they are exposed can still get a rapid test done at school. And face masks are optional for students, employees, and visitors. Sandra. Alrighty, thanks a lot. And let's take a look at your first morning weather. Today we're going to see daytime highs of about 80 degrees. A little cooler start this morning, partly cloudy. And it'll be breezy with winds out of the north and the east up to about 15 miles an hour plus late this afternoon. That's your news to go.